Sure, this was the only place I had to fix it. Okay, let's see if maybe I had to check a change at all. There we go. So I had to change all three of them. I didn't like that. Okay, so we want to load a CSV. Okay, now it's going to ask us for the name of the master file. Okay, now we need to know the name of our table space. And of course, I can't remember what that was. Uh, let's see, there it is. Okay, so that was the name of our table space. Um, no. Okay, right now. Okay, this is where all the passwords will come from. So his user ID was default password. Now hopefully it's going to start loading some data here. Okay, so it's loading it seems. So I think I'll go pause the video until this is finished. Okay, we're back you now through the magic of video. Our users are loaded. I think when we left, we were around here looking at the count. <clears throat> okay, so it went through, loaded up all the empty datas. Then it grabbed the manager file. And interestingly enough, it ran them completely backwards and that's not quite the way it said in the manual like for example the master's file is supposed to run that first and that second but apparently it ran them completely opposite hmm. okay well fortunately we weren't specifying any manager so nothing broke but you see here that after it finishes loading all the files then it goes back and does manager lookups and try and patch things up and then, of course, it rebuilds the indexes and the constraints and the foreign keys. And it, it took a while, actually, to load the 30,000 users. And I'm sure it's because of the size of these VMs. But um, anyway, we have 30,000 users loaded. So I'm going to uh, start up the servers again and log in and take a look. And I'm going to pause the video until all the servers come back up. Okay, picking up where we left off. Um, okay, the uh, load worked. All the servers came back up. Um, so what I did was, um, just before I started the servers, um, I ran this query here. And this will show you what the orgs 
R that are defined in uh, OIM. So, of course, my key is 21 for the one I added. <coughs> so, uh, I ran this to find out um, what was the highest key of the users that I wanted to hit with that um, org. And then I ran this update, which basically put um, all the users in that new organization that I created, the demo one. Okay, so we can close that now. Okay, we have our OIM server running. Okay, I was able to log in. Okay, did a search, and here's a boatload of users that start with the letter A. Um, so we can uh, see if it finds me, since I should have been added to that in the list. says username. I'm not sure if that's a user ID or actual name. So it's probably doing a table scan right now to come back and say not found. But you can see that the users are certainly loaded. Okay. Oh, there I am. I like that. Okay. So we'll get pull that up and I should be in the demo org okay here I am a forester is my user ID okay I'm in the demo org that's my display name and my UID so it looks like um, the load worked all the users are there and I guess at this point it would be just a matter of you know signing a few managers you know so you'd have um, direct reports to look at and things like that. But the uh, road obviously worked and that was the base, you know, base of the movie is to demonstrate the bulk loader to load a lot of users into OIM. Uh, next thing we'll do is um, show you how to create some dummy resources that actually can be provisioned so you can test things like um, approvals, which we'll do in the next video.